Yes, man, I love the revolution spirit, my youth. Yes, yes, Virgin. Light them up, light them up. My man ain't no plan. He's lighting he light up, he, he light up his own tour guide. He like, <laughs> man, I love that. That's the only way we gotta be real. Let's keep it real. Yes. Who is it? Um, what is it? I'm not uh, sure it's a presentation. Oh. And we have to slow our guy down to have him. Uh, the, the, uh, this way. Uh, Brother Tando, can you hold us? So family in the District 6 Museum. How to find my humanness? Because I was denied being recognized as a human. Mm -hmm. The word Bantu, as you or you have read, means people. They refer to us as the Bantu speaking people, which means the people speaking people. That is derogatory. Because they will give us labels, we embrace it, we yeah. internalize it, yes. and we live with the stigma. Mm -hmm. Because we've internalized it, we have to liberate ourselves. Emancipate yeah. that mental, men uh, that slavish mentality. Yes. We have to get rid of that. Yes. Now, we as Corsas originally are to the east of Cape Town, that is where we are, 200 about 800 to 1,000 kilometers east of Cape Town. There is, that is where two reserves was established because under apartheid, our colored communities, which this history is talking about, they were sent to the outskirts of the city because they were given what is called special privileges. Mm. Under the job preferential policy, and of course, they had the touch of the White brass, we are better than them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you said they brought people from Indonesia and India? And for, for what reason? Actually, you must know there was resistance by the by those people yeah. and the people of Indonesia. They resisted the, the, the invasion of their of their islands. Mm -hmm. um, highly cultured, and so that they to 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 to. to to, to subject the group, the people, you take the leaders, you yeah. capture, yeah. and that is what they did. They brought most of the, that's why when you were on Robben Island, as you entered the island on your right hand side, you saw the Kramat, a shrine, a Muslim shrine. Right. Yeah. That, yeah. that is the king of Mathura that is laying over there, right. a king. A king, yeah. Oh, okay. he, the leaders. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And of course, and it is that group that would creolize the Dutch language so that you see the emergence of Afrikaans today because they were more educated than the Dutch. Yeah. They were, they, they, uh -huh. these were, the Dutch were workers for the Dutch East Indian Company. Okay. Yeah, that was the working class in Mali because these atrocities that were, was first dehumanize us, yeah. make us less. Yeah. Um, giving us names such as Negro, yeah. Kaffir, um, yeah. and of course uncivilized. And by, by, by dehumanizing us, it became easy yeah. to, 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 to uh, commit these atrocities. <laughs> now we as Corsas, we have were brought into the Cape almost 200 years after the, after the British invaded the Cape, taking it from the Dutch. They now have this, they, they can have now this whole onslaught unto us, mm -hmm. unto black people, because they needed now the land, the very first thing they had to do, to, to dehumanize us, dispossess us from the land. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that we became landless by, by 1930. All land was taken away from mm -hmm. us by decree, not even by decision. Mm -hmm. They would then establish reservations, all ethnically divided. So that course us at two, Transkai and Siskai, you might have read, when they read Nelson Mandela's book, they speak about a Transkai or a Siskai. That is, and that was what we would call the labor camps. Now we were but defeated by the British in 1856. That is where, uh, as the British uh, uh, came to the Cape in 1806, the Dutch had slaves. 
They needed that slave, uh, that, that, that man, labor power. So they would emancipate the slaves to, take, to grab the slaves from the Dutch. The Dutch would become disgruntled. They would move into the interland. They would eventually dispossess us in the, in the interland because uh, the, the, the Europeans' first only interest in the beginning was just to protect the coastline. So because it was the Cape was so strategically right. situ situated, yeah, I had to pass here, yeah. and so that was why, right. and no interest until until the Dutch would move into the interland, okay. dispossess us by yeah. with, 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 with the most horrible ways of dispossessing us. Eventually, they would establish their own republics. Whilst the British were at the coast. That is the Cape and Natal. They just defeated the Zulus by 1879. Mm. We were defeated by 1856. Okay. Now, by 1856, how were we defeated? By through our own devices, because we are into the we are into the practice of what is called ancestral worship. Okay. It is also known as necromancy. Necromancy eventually would become the word Negro, dead. But Negro means Negro means black, dead. Negro would eventually become black. Now the practice of necromancy amongst us as black people goes out for ages. That's why you would even see in, in the committed um, in Egypt, you saw, you saw the pyramids. This, those are part of ancestral worship. Mm -hmm. So even now we are into that practice. We see our ancestors as the via media to, yeah. to, our, yes. to, to our higher forces. Yeah. They had to introduce Christianity by 1860 to us. Mm -hmm. So we have our own way of worship yeah. up till today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit tainted with Christianity so that we can be accepted. Gotcha. Um, yeah. But this is history that people that claim to be colored they cannot know this history because they are disconnected to the continent. Yes. And they, and, and, they, and, and as I said, they will be so proud to have a Holland or a Scotland as a grand great grandfather. So I hate it. <laughs> I despise it, honestly. Now we, when we first were brought here, after def being defeated in 1860, we're going to be brought now to the Cape as endangered laborers. But that is almost 200 years after the Dutch arrived, which meant by the time we were brought to the Cape in 1860, we couldn't speak the new language, which is known as Afrikaans. Mm. 40 years later, when the Dutch and the British are at war after the Dutch have discovered gold and diamonds, the British is going to pursue them, fight for those diamonds. It's two elephants fighting over something. Mm. That is not this, but we the grass are going to be made. There you go. Yeah. So that by 1899, while they're fighting this war, the British needed fodder to feed their horses. That fodder they had to import from Argentina, and we as Corsas were brought to this area in 1860. So that 40 years after our arrival to the Cape as, lab uh, as slaves, as laborers, mm -hmm. We're going to have the bubonic plague of 1901. Mm. We're going to be accused of bringing that disease. And we're going to be kicked out of Cape. So that when they speak about these forced removals, that they're speaking about 1965 yeah. and 1966, just know that we were already kicked out of the area in 1901. Yeah. Africans, because we are referred to as Africans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that is who you are, because that is how you and you trace it back to your identity, yes. and that is who I am. I am you. I am you. So that we were then can, can so that we, they will never bring you to tell you about this. Yeah. No, this is in the back, mm -hmm. because we are less. But we are the majority. As you will notice, Cape Town doesn't reflect the demographics of the continent. Okay. This is the only city in Africa where blacks are the, are the minority. Any questions, any questions or comments? Let us be able to go to well, that. You, you, you don't leave us any questions or comments. <laughs> <laughs> you finish. Really you know, I'm afraid of energy, even in my hands, but it's up to me. Just know that I am being despised.